According to a new announcement from the World Health Organization, a vaccine, even if we get one, will not be the end of all of this. It will never end. You can get your injection, they'll make you get it, but you'll still be under arrest. The World Health Organization says that finding a vaccine is not the goal. Reordering society is the goal. Quote, we will not, we cannot go back to the way things were. That's a direct quote from the leader of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros, who, by the way, is not really a doctor. Because COVID-19 is not a public health crisis, really, or even a mere virus. According to Tedros, COVID-19 is, in fact, and this may surprise you, COVID-19 is really about global warming. As he puts it, quote, the COVID-19 pandemic has given new impetus to the need to accelerate efforts to respond to climate change. Bet you didn't see that coming. Bill Gates did. He agrees with it wholeheartedly. Earlier this month, Gates posted an essay to his personal website, which you probably haven't seen, arguing that the lesson of the corona pandemic is that the rest of us will have to sacrifice even more to save the Earth from warming. Now, for people who are not billionaire global influencers, this is all pretty confusing. Quick, what does the coronavirus have to do with climate change? Well, for one thing, China caused both of them. That's the obvious link. But that is definitely not the point Dr. Tedros and Bill Gates are making. Both of them bow before China. They would never meaningfully criticize the Chinese government. So you can be assured that's not the connection they're drawing. No, for Dr. Tedros and Bill Gates, Pandemic and climate change share a very different connection. Both are useful pretexts for mass social control. Both are essentially unsolvable crises they can harness to bypass democracy and force powerless populations to obey their commands. Now it makes sense. Ever wondered why our leaders consider the coronavirus a major public health crisis, but not, say, suicides and drug ODs? Well, this is why. When a 26-year-old mother in New Hampshire drops dead from fentanyl, Bill Gates and Dr. Tedros don't get more powerful. Her death is useless to them. So they don't care.